Hello friends, it's me Chilmin Koda. This is the 16th chapter in the Java FX 3D tutorial series. And in the last video, we talked about adding the self-rotation for the Earth. In this video, we will try to complete this application by adding the background to the image for the galaxy and this slider for controlling the z-axis of the Earth. So let us start doing it. So this is where we left off in the previous chapter. We had the Earth and we implemented the self-rotating Earth. Uh, let me just compile it and run it. And as you can see, this is what we have done in the previous chapter. So in this chapter, what we have to do is we have to add the background galaxy. And the thing is, we can add Java FX 2D components into a 3D world. For example, this image view we have in the Java FX 2D API can be added into this 3D world. So we have to create an image view, then add that image view into this 3D world, so, so 3D scene. So that's, that is what we have to do. So let me create an image view here. So I'm going to create a method like private image view, prepare image view. So we, we have to prepare a new image view here. First, we need an image of the galaxy. And I have a JPEG image of the galaxy here, which I can use as the background. So let me load this image into this image object. So image, image equals new image. And here we need an input stream. So we can take the input stream using uh, earth dot class dot get resources as stream and the resource is located at resources slash galaxy dot jpeg now we got the uh, image object now we have to attach that image object into an image view which can be done like this way so we got the image view and now we have to maintain the aspect, aspect ratio obviously so i'm going to set serve ratio true and we have to return this image view so return image view so the one thing that we have to do here is if we simply add this one it won't be aligned to the screen let me show you what i meant by that uh, before that we have to add this image view into the world uh, into the scene so which can uh, that can be done like this world or get children don't add we, we have already prepared the earth and added that into the smart group object and similarly we can add the image view also here so if i add it like this prepare image view and if i run this program you will see some hiccups so as you can see here we have a couple of problems the image view now is starting at zero zero or on the center of the scene which is not what we want we need to align this image view into the uh the total window and the other thing is when we rotate the mouse the 2d image component is also getting rotated which means we don't need to rotate the image view based on the mouse input so those are the two issues we have to fix right now and the first thing we have to do is to make it independent of the earth component so the problem is currently this smart group world has a mouse control attached to it so when we uh, we can control its rotation or its orientation using the mouse but for the image view we don't need that so the solution here is to create another group object so i am going to create a separate group and i am going to call it as root and let me create a group object here and to this group i am going to add this world object this world object currently can be controlled using mouse so i am going to create another root component root container that cannot be controlled using mouse control so uh, i am adding this world into this root and then i am going to add the image view also to this root component so uh, root container so I, I keep saying it is root component it is root container so 
we have a prepare image view and that will do the trick. Now, instead of attaching this world to the seed, we have to attach this parent component root to the seed. Now, if you look at the code, you can see that this world is controlled using mouse and it is added to this root. This root is not at all controlled by mouse. So no problems there. Now, the next thing we have to do is to move the image view to fit it in, inside the window. And that can be done using translation. We have to provide translation for the image. So let me do that by image view dot get translations, get transforms, sorry, and add a new translate transform. So translate and here, we have to make it center so for that we have to move it by half of the width of the image in the x-axis and we have to move it half of the height of the image and then we have to provide some amount of set value and right now i am going to give a random value like set equals 800 now if i run this program You will see that we have got the background image very uh, nice and fit into the window and even if I maximize this window you will see that the background is working fine and if I rotate this earth it is not affecting the image view that is because it is not uh, inside the smart group that is controlled using mouse so right now I can control the earth alone using my mouse so that's it guys that's how you add an image view into a java fx 3d scene and in the next video we will add the 2d slider component to control the set value of this earth until then take care